Nigerian missionary priest working in Gambia, Father Kelvin Ugu, has accused famous journalist Ruben Abati of exhibiting political biases while anchoring the presidential town hall by Arise Television. Father Calvin questioned Abati whether it made sense that a vice who has a constitutional role far different from that of the president would be allowed to debate with presidential candidates. The popular cleric also queried Abati on why he gave Dino Melayi, an official spokesman for the People's Democratic Party PDP campaign team, the privilege to ask a question in a debate. Father Ugu made the claim through a post on his verified Facebook page. The cleric, however, also wished Abati a happy birthday before seeking answers to his questions. He wrote, this is about the presidential debate you hosted yesterday. You allowed a vice presidential candidate to join a debate you tag as a presidential town hall. How does that even make sense that a vice who has a constitutional rule that is far different from that of the president be ever allowed to debate with presidential candidates. You are the organizer of the program. You and your team invited the presidential candidates. You and your team invited or made open the participant or audience. Then something was not going your way from the audience you invited, and instead of dealing with it, you turn around and blame a presidential candidate who obviously may not even know the people you invited. You are allowed Dino, an official spokesman for the PDP campaign team, to ask a question in a debate that is comprised of different political parties. You saw that his question was directed at a particular candidate belonging to a party he considers a rival, yet you allowed it. You think it was fair that you did not also extend the same privilege to the spokesmen and women of other parties to interrogate their rival candidate as well, he asked. He went further and there and then one of the presidential candidates got provoked by one of your guests. The candidate spoke out because this your guest seemed to have been there to distract him. The candidate was angry, you saw the anger on his face. Everyone did. The point the candidate made was very justified. Yet, you are allowed it to slide without requesting an apology from that guest, or a word of caution, or possibly asking the question, Dino, to leave the premises. Abati, on this, you totally got it all wrong. You were obviously too biased and too partisan to anchor a debate of that nature. Okay? Uh, this is according to uh, a popular uh, Nigerian uh, Gambia based uh, priest named Father Kelvin Ugu. Okay, Father Kelvin worked in Gambia and uh, is the one that has accused famous journalist Ruben Abati of exhibiting political biases. Okay, uh, what's your ration to this? Uh, please uh, drop your ration in the comment section. Your voice will be heard loudly around the world. And make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates from the Lord's Prayer. Thanks and God bless. We have a ration here. Let's see, Prince Chijoke says that uh, we don't have a standard and this is why everything is being handled negatively. 
how can they allow a vice presidential candidate to debate with presidential candidates? That is too bad. We must wake up in this country for things to go well. Okay, that's true. Uh, there's a reply to Prince here saying, uh, My brother, you hit the nail on the head. You hit the nail on the head. Okay. Then uh, another here says, uh, I beg, Father, maintain your lane and leave politicians to play partisan politics. Angela Efe also replied, he replied here saying, uh, You are confirmed illiterate. Is he not a Nigerian? Look at the suffering Nigerians are passing through, including you. You must be a fool. Angry Lion here says, uh, At the expense of your empty brain box. Okay, the, uh, Vic Mizi. Vic Mizi says, uh, Well spoken. The truth be told, Ruben still have sympathy for PDP. But still, Ndubusi says, uh, Really? Think Obi should make it a policy to debate and respond to fellow presidential candidates only and not hired third okay and not hired right we see here and not hired come again with this place he said uh, well spoken, the truth be told, Ruben is Ruben still have sympathy for PDP. Okay, we have taken this before. The next here says um, is from Basil in the bussy. Okay, Basil in the bussy saying um, really think Obi should make it a policy to debate and respond to fellow presidential candidates only, and not hire third parties without manners. Okay. Mwini Goshuku says, uh, I concur with you. It's very shameful that Mr. Ruben Abati, a partisan politician, will allow to organize such a debate. When I saw Dino Melayo raised his hand, I was thinking he would not going to be allowed to speak or ask questions because he is an official spokesperson to a presidential candidate very unfortunate to the arise tv management to have been so biased okay and this is all we can take for now thanks and god bless and sure you subscribe to our channel and spread the report across all news platforms and across all political parties uh, platforms and buy for now please okay and stay tuned for more reports okay